Are you sure he can win this election? <laughs> Woo! I mean, there's no reason why he shouldn't win. First of all, we will work hard. We will leave no stone unturned. We will leave nobody unreached. You know, in church, we say each one reach one. We will raise more disciples for us. We will so advertise him. We will so publicize him because he's got material. He's got substance. You know, Hebrews 11 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So, as we don't have substance, so it's the substance of a better, you know, tomorrow. It's not some of the other guys who are shadow boxing, who are running away um, from interviews and interrogation. The man has got substance. We put, you know, boots on the ground. But let me tell you something. You know that um, every time you look at uh, those state statistics, you find out that we have barely 40% of people come to vote. So if, for instance, that we have 1.5 million you know, voters, between those who won the election and those who lost the election, we barely do 40% of them. So which means that there is, if you like, because I'm a pastor, an unchurched, or if you like, an uncampaigned, an uninterested, 60% of people, much more than the number of those, the combination of those who win and lose. So let us say that we're able to pick 15% from those people who hardly ever vote. We're able to convince them, engage them, and that's my job as DDG um, media and publicity to do whatever I can to carry the gospel of Aswa Ibundalo because it is an indication of the value of education. And I've always been afraid when some of our boys say, oh, uh, education is a scam. If you allow somebody with lesser education, with proper education, become governor in this state, we are going to be helping to evangelize, publicize what those guys are saying, that education is a scam. If you ask those who are working on the other side, ask them silently in that quiet sober moment, who would they prefer their children to look like? Is it the guy that runs from interview on a Monday morning, is part of his name? Or, you know, ask them, go deep in their heart. Or right, they will tell you that, ah, who do you want your child to be like? Because I hear people say, oh, it doesn't matter whether I can talk or not. Meanwhile, it is people that can talk that they have recruited to campaign for him. You think if a talk doesn't matter, but the ones who are campaigning for him are the people that you think that you can talk. And we're not asking anybody to be, you know, to be an excellent talker. We're just simply saying, be simplistic, you know, because the only way we can know what is in your heart, that's what Shakespeare said. We can't see it on your face, it's when you voice it, and when you open your mouth, we look at your heart. When we look at when we look into your eyes, we look at your soul. So we need to hear what the candidates are saying and i'm, and I'm glad that aswe Bonado is way in our head of them so we will win you know this election yes it'll be tough i mean between tough and impossible we we'll go for uh, uh, for tough nothing good um, comes easy but at the end of the day many people are going to see the difference which is very clear even for the blind man to see the deaf to hear and even for for the dumb you know to speak that we have a material, that's why we keep talking about him, we keep elevating him, we keep amplifying him. So hopefully, uh, we'll come back September 22nd and you will say that, uh, like uh, Prophet Abraham, we came, we saw, and we conquered.